This is day 4 of the advent of code 2024 done and go, and this challenge is called Seer Search. Looks like the chief's not here. Next, one of the historians pulls out a device and pushes the only button on it. After a brief flash, you recognize the interior of the Seer's monitoring station. As the search for the chief continues, a small elf who lives on the station tugs on your shirt. She'd like to know if you could help her with her word search, the puzzle input. She only has to find one word, Xmas. This word search allows words to be horizontal, vertical, diagonal, or written backwards, or even overlapping other words. It's a little unusual though, as you don't merely need to find one instance of Xmas, you need to find all of them. Here are a few ways Xmas might appear, where irrelevant characters have been replaced with dot. Uh, the actual word search will be full of letters instead, for example this. In this word search, Xmas occurs total of 18 times. Here's the same word search again, but where the letters not involved in any Xmas have been replaced with dots. So this one's left to right, this one's diagonal, this one is bottom to top. Okay, cool. So how many times has Xmas appeared? Well, let's get started. Okay, so with this one, it's going to be uh, fairly straightforward, so what we need to do with this, we need to turn it into a grid. We can turn it into a grid where each character is its own cell, then we pick an index, we go uh, left to right, we go right to left, we go top to bottom, and then diagonal as well. So, um, what do we need to do? We're creating grid. This needs to be a 2D array, and it would be of type rune, and it needs to be, and we'll set it as the length of lines. So we've got our grid, we've got our output, so we now need to iterate over the uh, lines, and then we create our grid. So that'll be grid i equals line. No, it won't it be um, ray rune converting the line to it. So we've got all of our characters in the grid. We need to just select a point in it, figure out if it starts with an X. If it's an X, we then go a direction. Is it M? If A, S. Okay, that's one. Then you go direction, 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 like that. So we can, so we'll be iterating over the grid and we're searching for Xmas. We can iterate over that. So we'll be iterating over the list. We then keep track of whereabouts we are using um, index as an offset. So when we're iterating through the grid, whichever point, whichever cell on, that can be zero. Then we go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and so on. So we will, so let's do word equals Xmas. Then we can do for row whoop, for row equals zero. Row is less than the length of grid and row plus plus. Then we can do for column equals zero. Col is less than length of grid row col plus plus. Then inside here we iterate over it. So we'll create a variable car index equals zero and credit variable is xmas equals true we'll just do this if is xmas output plus plus then inside here for actually we don't we can do that here for car index equals zero car index less than the length of word car index plus plus then what we do if okay this is only hmm Okay, I also need to create a list of directions. This is will equal to an array of two ints, oh, int, and for this, start off with say zero one. So we so that'll be uh, say sorry, let's that's right. Do like right up left down diagonal 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 diagonal. So right left up down. This can be Top right, top left, um, bottom left, bottom right. So what we should do first is, so we'll be getting a direction from here, and the car index would then be used to multiply this. So if because you've got, if let's say you're doing diagonal, it'd be like zero zero one one two two three three. So you get to car index three, you then multiply three on each of these, negative one and one and that'll go further in direction, like that. So we should probably do inside of here for the range directions. Okay, yep, duh is that and that. 
And for simplicity, we'll do x equals the old xb. Oh, I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Just do 0 and then 1. So we've got x and y. We then do offset x equals x times car index. And then same thing with y. And then we can do if offset x less than 0 or offset x greater than length of... Actually, we're going to change from x and y to row index, col index. So that's it's going to make it easier. Row index, col index, row offset, col offset. So if row offset is less than or equal to 0 or row offset is greater than the length of grid or same thing but with column offset and now with grid row then we need to break and we need to we can use this if xmas variable put that into here we will do is xmas equals false and now we do if xmas output plus plus which i already did there but we need to remove that oops just realized i put this down here so call index isn't being used apparently so i accidentally re index okay now we'll Wait, this, that's not meant to be, that's meant to be in this one. There we go. Okay, so we've done this. Now we need to do if, uh, this would be grid, row offset, grid, uh, grid, no, column offset. And we'll do if that does not equal word, uh, car index, then, what's going on here? Mismatch types rune to buy it. Okay, I guess we'll convert this to rune. If it doesn't equal, then we break from it. So guys, let's think through this again. We've got the input. We're iterating through the rows, columns of this. We're iterating through the directions, and then we're iterating through the offset of the whole word we're trying to create, which is Xmas. We then create the offset. We check to see if this value is a valid number within... Okay, I did this wrong. Need to row index in this, and now we need to bring in row we didn't actually include that at all so the row plus the offset which then creates other value that we're using then if this is outside of the range then we do it okay i think we've got it so let's run it and see if it works okay well, did we get an error here ah okay so it should be greater than or equal to the length because indexes start with zero and not one so do that again okay we've got two three three six so let's submit that and we got the right answer. So now let's go on to part two. The elf looks quizzically at you. Did you misunderstand the assignment? Looking for the instructions, you flip over the word search to find that this isn't actually an Xmas puzzle. It's an X mass puzzle in which you're supposed to find two mass in the shape of an X. One way to achieve that is like this. Okay, so mass, mass. Irrelevant characters have again been replaced with dot in the above diagram. Written within the X, each mass can be overwritten forwards or backwards. Here's the same example from before. This time, all of the X misses have been kept instead. So, mass, 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 mass. So, these are all the same direction. So, it's cross where it doesn't matter which direction mass is going, it just needs to create an X. Okay, that's very interesting. So, let's get started. So, we're going to start off copying all of part one. So I'll make it easier as we can reuse most of this. We are going to change it so the word is mass. We remove, so we only keep the horizontal directions. So this will stay the same, this stays the same. And we would need to change it so instead of it just looking at all of these, we need to split it so it's the actual diagonals. We want to group them together. So I think the way to do this would be to create another another level within it. like this. So we do 2, 2, 2. Um, okay, I guess which ones are the diagonal? It would be re the reverse of each other, right? So we we'll do that. Then we need to do... So grouping them together. Oop, not curly brace. So do that. So we do that. And then this. And then this. And this. Yep, so we do that. So we'll do four. Which is cool. Mm. So now we need to do another four loop in here. Four. We'll do four diag. Then four duh in range diag. Then all of this needs to go across like that, like this. 
but we now need to put this at the top. So if x is true, and then this also the bottom. Oh, how do we do this? This needs to be placed here, and that placed out of here. So we're doing the diagonal. If it false, it breaks, and we can just always save time. If not, is Xmas break? So if we do one line and it's not Xmas, we know we don't need to do the next line as it has to be both of them together. Okay, getting an error here. Oh, okay, I didn't realize we needed that. Cool. Um. I think that might be all we have to do. So instead of it doing each one, testing them independently, we now need to do the diagonals only and make sure at least both of them are true. So that's why the test for is Xmas is now within the row columns for loop instead of inside of here, because it needs to be that all of these. Ooh, okay. So currently I've only got it is uh, if Xmas equals false. We can do in, so if it skips over all these, that means it's true. Then we can do if car index plus one is equal to len word is xmas equals true. And because we've now so inside of here if xmas true inside of here if xmas true we can break. So it might be true on the first go. If it's true on the first go we don't need to do the next one. So we break out of it. So and then it's still true here. It would then do the first go of it. It could be false. It then does the next direction which would then make it true so then we'll get to here and it would still be true okay i think that's working now so let's run it 891 so let's see if that is correct that is not correct okay okay i've just realized why it's not working so currently it's not actually doing it across it's still doing like it's doing m as the middle point so it's trying to do mass 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 when the middle point should be a so, hmm, okay, I think, okay, so that needs to be changed. So we're doing, we we're doing it wrong. We don't need, don't need this. Uh, wait, that's, what is that loop end? So we need to get rid of that. We need to grab both indexes at the same time. So for diag, I guess one thing we can do, if grid row col does not equal a continue, this should be single quotes. So what we're going to change it to do, we find A first, and then we check to see, is this M and this, is this S, or is this M and is this S? So then that would be a diagonal is Xmas, or mass, and then we do the next diagonal. So I just need to figure out best. So we don't need offsets anymore. We're going to be looking purely in that direction. No, we do need offset. It's just we don't need to loop like we were doing here. So we've got diag. We'll do row one index equals, no, we'll just change this to duh as well, duh, zero, zero, this will be uh, column one, so it's still zero, then one, then we do the same thing, uh, two, two, change this to one, one, so we can get rid of that, and what we would need is this number, and it would be row plus, row plus, no, that should be column plus, and this will be row plus, column plus, we can get rid of these indexes, and it'll be row one, row one, column one, column one, and then this exact same thing again with, do that with row two, row two, column two, column two. So now what we need to do, okay, we get rid of that, and grid row one, column one, equals um, M, and, and row two, column two, equals A, so then do this, or this is A and this is M. So this would be the condition where it is true, and we can do a continue. Otherwise, is Xmas equals false, and then break. Oh, I was doing A here, it's meant to be S, because A is in the middle. Okay, yeah, we're no longer using that word variable. Um, let's just run it and see. I think that's everything that needs to be done, but not sure but we've got a number and we will retry it oh there we go we got it correct so that is day four of advent of code 2024 done and go completed if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe